What is a spectrophotometer? A spectrophotometer is an instrument that measures the changes in light passing through a transparent solution. What happens when light passes through a solution? All solutions and compounds absorb light to a specific wavelength. For example, haemoglobin absorbs blue and green light, so appears red. But why does this happen? Looking at the electromagnetic spectrum, visible light ranges from violet at a wavelength of 400 nanometers to red at a wavelength of 700 nanometers. Colours that we see are the colours reflected by objects, not those that are absorbed. Therefore, leaves on trees appear green because they reflect green light, and haemoglobin appears red because it's reflecting red light. But the speck measures light that is absorbed or the colours we don't see. So to do an assay on haemoglobin, we would need to set our speck around 5 to 600 nanometers in wavelength. Most specks use light sources within the visible spectrum, but UV and IR specks are also available. A spectrophotometer works by measuring and comparing the intensity of light entering and exiting a sample. Measurements can be expressed as the percentage transmittance, which is the percentage light exiting compared to entering. If all the light passes through a solution, then T is 100%. This would happen for distilled water, for example, where the majority of light would pass straight through. Measurements can also be expressed as the absorbance, A. That is the amount of light taken in or absorbed by the solution. If all the light is transmitted, T is 100%, then A is zero. If no light is transmitted, we would say absorption is infinite. All compounds and solutions have characteristic absorbances. If you were looking at a solution for the first time, you would need to find out its optimum wavelength of maximum absorption, simply by measuring absorption of it at a range of wavelengths. By plotting a graph, the optimum absorption of a compound becomes apparent. So to get the best results from a spec assay, the compound would be assayed at this wavelength. 